Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Finn encourages Liam to act as Hope and Thomas take in Rome's beauty. Liam, RJ, and Finn all exercise on the Forester Creations rooftop. RG is asked to identify the model. As they predict the girl will pretend to struggle, Finn and Liam watch amused. She does so before chit-chatting with RJ. RG joins his in-laws, who make fun of him for not giving the young lady a towel for her drool. Another model is staring at him like dessert as they continue to bother him. Arj receives a thank you from Liam for inviting them while he teases him about a loud jackhammer in the distance. The topic shifts to Rome. Liam declares that while he is proud of Hope and delighted for her to have this opportunity, he believes Thomas ought to be present instead of with his wife in Rome. Brooke, Ridge, Carter, and Hope rave over the gelato and pasta in Italy on the plane. Just make sure to use napkins, advises Steffi. She explains that she doesn't want marinara to get on the gowns because Thomas worked his tail off developing them. Anything to make this preview a success, agrees Hope. Hope shakes her head and casts a sideblown glance at Thomas as they all exchange expressions. Thomas compliments Carter on how fantastic he is for procuring all the permits necessary for their plans in Rome as the flight progresses. The anxious Hope explains, it's going to be wild. According to Carter, wildly successful. Without him, in Hope's opinion, they would not have been able to complete this. She then expresses her admiration for Thomas' talent, telling him that if it weren't for it, they wouldn't be traveling to Rome. She tells him she appreciates him and his amazing work while Brooke and Steffi look on. RJ and Liam argue about Thomas and Hope on the rooftop. It's difficult because RJ is both people's brother. Steffi, according to Finn, thinks Thomas has actually changed this time. Liam really wants to believe that, but he can't since Hope's safety is in jeopardy. While talking about Thomas, Liam begins to bench press. No matter how convincing he is, he still comes across as hollow. RG asserts that he has a great deal to lose and should behave himself at all times. Why does everyone believe that this time will be different when Liam claims that he previously had those reasons? Although Thomas no longer gives Finn the uneasy vibes he used to, Finn advises Liam to trust his gut. When I look him in the eye now, I see clarity, he says. I spy a man who has discovered it. Liam asserts that he could have discovered a better way to manipulate them all. While with RJ, Finn has his reservations. He emphasizes that Steffi, who wouldn't stand by her brother if he didn't deserve it, is someone Liam can trust. Liam believes that is a valid point. He is happy that Steffi is traveling. She assured him that she would watch over things for him. On Hope and Thomas, RG queries. Lillian nods. Steffi will notice anything troubling if it occurs. Steffi observes Hope and Thomas working together in the airborne vehicle. Carter observes this and is astounded by the bond they have developed in spite of everything that has occurred. They seem to completely understand one another. They definitely do, Steffi muses. Brooke observes as well, but Rich takes her aside. Rich teases Brooke around the neighborhood about how romantic Rome is. Brooke is aware that Rome might be able to convince him to reconsider his current lack of faith in fate and love. All of the passengers smile with joy as the pilot announces that they are landing in Italy. Thomas and Hope give each other a thoughtful glance before grinning at one another. Lion and Finn are berating RJ on the rooftop after donning their clothes and presuming he is receiving texts from one of the girls. R.G. chuckles when he recalls his mother informing him that they had arrived. If she said anything else, Liam queries. No, simply that they got right to work. R.G. shrugs. Officially, Finn is envious. Didn't Steffi invite you on the trip? Asks Liam. She did, according to Finn. But he had to attend to the kids and his job. R.G. inquires as to Liam's absence. He liked to go when it is a true vacation. Even if Thomas makes him uneasy, he doesn't want to be the creepy husband watching over his wife. 
Finn proposes Liam give his wife a surprise. He gets significant points if he flew halfway across the world. Take off and surprise your wife by flying. When the cars transporting the Forrester Creations group reach at their destination in Rome, Italy, a woman welcomes them and informs them that they are in the city of love. They pursue her inside a structure. On the rooftop, Liam queries Finn's reasoning for surprising Hope in Rome. As she is being applauded, Finn begs him to picture her looking out and spotting him. It would be utterly ridiculous, in RJ's opinion, but in a nice way. You must be there for her, says Finn. Liam determines they are correct. F. Hit. I'll carry it out. I'm traveling to Rome. As Brooke and Ridge gaze out from their balcony, we catch a glimpse of a montage of Rome's stunning landmarks. She informs him that they are about to be taken to the city of everlasting love. Rome's magic is something you won't be able to escape from. As he passes, Carter remarks, she is not mistaken. It's a pretty wonderful spot. He joins Steffi to discuss business while taking in the scenery. Hope tells Thomas that the area nearby is ideal for their preview. He enjoys witnessing her joy. This is the point at which her vision comes to life. She claims that without him, this dream would not be a reality. You ought to feel proud. Hope puts her hand on Thomas' arm while Steffi observes Liam her face Hope showing Rome, according to Finn. According to the bold and the beautiful teasers for June 16, R.J. Forrester was taunted by Liam Spencer and John Finn Finnegan about all the women who were swooning over him in the Forrester gym area. While the boys were working out, they talked about Thomas Forrester going to Rome, which Liam was still definitely against. R.J. believed Thomas wouldn't break any lines, despite the fact that he had too much to lose. The best proof? in Finn's opinion, that Thomas had actually changed was Steffi Forrester's faith in her brother. Liam acknowledged that Steffi had stated she'd watch Thomas and Hope Spencer to see if anything was wrong and that she'd keep an eye on them. Hope thanked Carter Walton for obtaining the permits and for being such a huge help with this trip while they were on the Forrester plane. Steffi and Brooke Logan scoffed at the tender moment between Thomas and Hope when Hope praised about his artwork and talent. Later, Carter became aware of Thomas and Hope's connection, and he gushed to Steffi about what a terrific team they made and how well they got each other. As she continued to observe Hope and Thomas' interactions on the plane, Steffi concluded that they most definitely did. On Friday's B&B &B episode, Brooke chatted to Ridge Forrester about romantic Rome in the hopes that it would restore his faith in fate. Hope and the others were thrilled to be arriving in Italy after Trevor, the forester pilot, signaled that they would be beginning their descent. R.G. received a text message from Brooke informing him that the plane had successfully landed back in Los Angeles. Liam was still worried about the entire Thomas scenario and tried to see if Brooke had any fresh information. As soon as Liam acknowledged that Hope had unexpectedly asked him to roam, he declared that he didn't want to be the creepy, envious spouse who was spying on her. Finn recommended that Liam surprise Hope in Italy, not because he was a bitter spouse who wanted to make an enormous show of support, but because he was romantic and wanted to do something special. Liam felt excited by the idea and decided to go for it because R.G. agreed that Hope would be over the moon if he did it. Rich was informed by Brooke that he wouldn't be able to escape the enchantment once she and the others arrived in Rome. As he passed, Carter concurred with Brooke's assessment that the location was somewhat mystical. As Steffi observed Hope conversing with Thomas in the distance, she wore a worried expression, especially when Hope reached out to touch him affectionately. Hope informed Thomas that she believed he should be proud because without him, this journey would not have been possible. Keep an eye on the CBS soap opera, The Bold and the Beautiful, because according to spoilers, Liam's impending arrival will change everything. Backslash. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.